Hello. This presentation is about uh, this chapter uh, in your uh, Introduction to Business book, which is about marketing. Marketing is not just a departmental task. It should not be perceived only as a business function, but uh, rather uh, a driving motivation uh, component uh, in a business organization which supports other uh, business activities as well. In this chapter, the content is composed of sections such as uh, foundations of marketing, strategic marketing management, marketing mix, branding, uh, recent trends in marketing, and uh, marketing ethics. Marketing can be typically defined as creation, promotion, and delivery of goods and services by companies directed towards cus uh, customers and businesses. Uh, this uh, definition uh, uh, has a focus on um, basic activities of uh, marketing, uh, which are shown here. Uh, the first one is identifying and creating needs, wants, and desires of customers in uh, B2C, which is business to uh, consumer, and B2B, which is business to business markets. Here, the focus is on uh, the customer uh, behaviors. It is important to create a deep understanding of customer behaviors in the market for being able to successfully position in a market. Another uh, basic activity of marketing is promoting the uh, product by way of integrated communication techniques. And here, the focus is on uh, creating uh, positive and effective relationships uh, with customers. It is important uh, to build uh, uh, an effective uh, customer uh, relations management system uh, in a company. Another basic activity uh, can be described as delivering the uh, products or services by appropriate sales points um, uh, by companies in either brick and mortar uh, retail locations or virtual outlets. Um, it is important uh, for a company to integrate all marketing, all marketing goals um, into one comprehensive plan. Uh, this is about creating an uh, effective and efficient marketing strategy. Uh, shortly, marketing strategy is the way of doing marketing towards a certain positioning in a market. And uh, there are two key decisions for uh, uh, obtaining um, uh, a successful marketing strategy, uh, which are generic uh, marketing strategy and segmentation and targeting. Generating marketing uh, strategy is uh, a general plan for positioning the, the, mar uh, the, the product and services and, of course, relevant brands uh, in a market. And generic marketing strategy is the first step. The next step is, um, based on this generic strategy, to decide the segmentation and uh, targeting in a, a market. Segmentation is the task of uh, dividing uh, a general population, which is relevant to a company's products and services. Um, uh, uh, um, this, uh, the, the task of dividing this uh, very general and large population into subgroups in a way that can meaningfully uh, separate customers in terms of their consumption patterns. And segmentation uh, criteria uh, and decisions differ from one company to another, from one market to another. For example, some companies may prefer uh, geography-based segmentation 
or product or customer based segmentation in uh, in a market and throughout markets in the world. Um, targeting is the careful selection of uh, uh, one or um, several of these segments which are decided by the company. Thus, targeting is the careful selection of at least one segment, but usually it is more than one segment, identified in the previous step, which is the segmentation, by considering a variety of different factors. These factors, again, change uh, from one set of circumstances to another, but generally, for example, one criterion is the accessibility of uh, the target market. Another one is uh, the, the actionability uh, in a market. For example, um, uh, cigarette smokers uh, are determined better than uh, the, um, other type of uh, segmentations uh, in a market. Um, therefore, companies um, must determine and make good decisions about which segments in a market to uh, target. For example, if a company is manufacturing shoes, it is easier for determining the target markets for this company. Um, for example, women and men's shoes. It is uh, clear. It's a clear targeting, but um, if the um, uh, if it's uh, generally clothing, it is more challenging to determine the best and clear targets than a shoe uh, market. Um, marketing mix is um, another important topic in uh, marketing management. Marketing mix is known also as uh, the four P's of marketing. It constitutes the set of all marketing activities a company engages itself in pursuing its marketing goals and objectives. These four P's are uh, about the capitals um, uh, letters uh, of um, uh, importing uh, the, the, the marketing mix. Uh, the first one is the product itself. Second P is the place where to deliver the product. And uh, another one is the price. Uh, what price uh, should we ask for uh, the products? And the other one is promotion. In other words, uh, advertising the, the product to uh, be able to reach um, the best and uh, most efficient marketing segments and targets. Um, let me go back to the, um, the um, uh, product mix. This, um, this description about four Ps is from a company's perspective. If it is from the customer's per perspective, then the four Ps is turned into the four C's. For example, product is um, the customer value. Uh, pricing is the cost for the consumer or the customer. Um, uh, promotion is the communication uh, with customers. And um, uh, the place is the, the um, uh, uh, convenience for customers to be able to reach the products. So from the customer's perspective, it is four C's instead of four P's. Um, branding is another important topic in marketing for being able to uh, position uh, the products and services in a market. Uh, Therefore, um, a, a product is a product or a service by a company is always parallel to uh, branding as well, because uh, company names are at the same time can be um, uh, thought as uh, the brand names. 
Branding uh, is a set of marketing and promotion activities in a market that promote the brand, in other words, the, the product itself, aiming to have a persistent image in customers' minds, which is the most strategic investment of the company. It is important, it is critical for a company to be able to engrave that brand image in customers' minds. Uh, in fact, all marketing strategies are uh, planned uh, towards to obtain that very efficient and successful brand image in uh, consumers' minds. And branding is also parallel to positioning in a market. Um, the positioning is how the brand is perceived by the consumers and the position in their minds. Here we are um, uh, seeing an imaginary perceptual or positioning uh, map. Um, uh, just an example. Here the example is about uh, restaurants uh, in a market. So this is um, the, the, the restaurant market. Um, for a restaurant, uh, there are uh, critical factors that uh, enable the restaurant owners to be um, successful in the restaurant business. These factors can be uh, taught as the food quality, which is about the taste and, for example, the ingredients of the food, the quality of the ingredients. And the other one is the, uh, the atmosphere which is about the physical environment of the um, uh, restaurant. Um, here, uh, let's assume that uh, the, this is a market in, uh, for example, in a co uh, country or, or a region. Uh, we see A, B, C, D and uh, others, uh, certain uh, restaurant uh, names, which are at the same time brands. Um, uh, what we see here is uh, A and B is a group, C and U, D uh, is another group in this map. We can assume, therefore, that A and B uh, are both successful restaurants, uh, both uh, in food quality and atmosphere. Therefore, in this market, A and B in customer minds are the leading restaurant businesses. Um, these two restaurants, brands, are followed by CND, uh, a bit um, uh, behind the first group, but they are also perceived positively in the market, um, in customer minds, customers' minds, regarding the food quality and the atmosphere. Uh, let's look at uh, the uh, F brand here in this map. We see the F brand is being perceived as very positively regarding the, the atmosphere of the uh, restaurant, but uh, unfortunately not good in food quality. Uh, what happens here is um, uh, that F is staying behind the first two groups. Uh, therefore, um, uh, this is a, an indication for the F uh, restaurant business to work more on their food quality if they want to be able to compete with these two leading uh, uh, groups uh, in the market. Um, uh, we see G uh, negatively perceived uh, by uh, the restaurant customers in this market, um, neither uh, good in food quality nor in uh, the uh, restaurant atmosphere. Um, by looking at this map, a uh, map about not only rest a restaurant business, but other businesses, uh, other, other sectors as well, um, the business owners, the managers uh, can uh, clearly see themselves where they are standing uh, in a market, their positioning, their um, uh, competitors uh, who are behind them, who are, in other words, following them, 
uh, in the competition, but who are uh, front of them. So maybe uh, a technique uh, would be benchmarking um, uh, the processes, the marketing processes of those competitors who are in front of them in this positioning map. Uh, this chapter also uh, covers the new trends in uh, marketing. Today, marketing is about relationships. It is not about uh, temporary relationships with customers. Um, it is important to establish long-lasting, uh, long-term relationships. It is important to establish loyalty um, by customers to the um, company products and uh, services. And there are um, uh, other concepts uh, relevant to the new trends uh, in marketing. One of them is, for example, content marketing, which is the creation, uh, creation, uh, publishing, and distribution of digital content for a targeted audience uh, online. Um, today, uh, we see all businesses, almost all of them, uh, creating websites for themselves because uh, a business website site, uh, site is a window opening to the the, the customers. Uh, it is important to um, have a very, uh, you, for example, user friendly, uh, informative type of uh, website. Also, e business, e marketing, e trading is uh, uh, are very uh, critical and uh, must developed must um, use uh, concepts in marketing today. And this chapter also covers marketing ethics. Um, ethics is about moral values. It is important not only in marketing business, not only in uh, for marketing function, but for the whole business, for, a, uh, for the whole company or an organization. Ethics uh, managers should be themselves ethical and then be role models about um, applying uh, uh, ethics in all types of activities in a company. Uh, marketing ethics uh, deals with some uh, ethical issues uh, that we witness or are being um, uh, uh, thought of in companies, such as uh, the uh, examples here, um, invasion of privacy in marketing research, stereotyping in segmentation and targeting, uh, uncontrolled marketing efforts towards vulnerable uh, consumers, unethical pricing, uh, ethically uh, questionable and insensitive conduct in advertising, deceptive advertising, uh, irreversible corruption of the nature and uh, natural uh, resources, and uh, of course, misleading packaging. And um, um, for applying marketing ethics effectively and um, um, in a visible uh, manner, uh, there is uh, a concept that is being raised uh, by um, uh, companies, which is the societal marketing. It is um, to uh, obtain creative ways to optimize consumer satisfaction and preserve society and nature as a whole. Um, we try to give a brief uh, summary of this chapter here. Uh, please read the details in your uh, book. And uh, don't forget uh, to um, focus on some examples and cases which will enable you to have a deep understanding, a better understanding of uh, marketing um, uh, in, in uh, business. And uh, don't forget to um, uh, answer the questions and test yourself as well. Enjoy your day. Goodbye.